Everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you. This time I'm going to show you how you can find out what any keyboard shortcut would be in any software program. Let's start off by looking at Microsoft Word. You'll see the menu at the top here and there's a whole bunch of options depending on which tab that we're in. And we don't know really what all the shortcuts could be. So the first trick is to press the Alt key on your keyboard and you'll see immediately that there's letters that pop up over top of the main heading. So there's F for file, H for home, N for insert, and so on. We even have at the top here, there's Q and it says right in here, search Alt plus Q. And then the ones up here, they're starting with Z and another letter and over on the right side as well. So if we were to, for example, press the F key, that brings us to the file menu. And then you'll see that there's more options available here as well. So I could press I for info. And then that takes me to the information page, which has even more options that also have keyboard shortcuts listed. Without pressing Alt, it doesn't show anything except for the search field. But let's hit Alt again. And this time, what if we want to access one of the top options here? For example, the save option is ZV. First, we would press Z and then see what happens now. The letters disappear from the other tabs and only have the ones at the top that start with Z. So now I can press the second letter for the one that I want. In this case, it's V for save and I get the save as dialog box appear. Let's look at another program now as an example. So Macroom Reflect, which is another program that I've done videos on, I'll hit the Alt key and notice what happens. There's no letters that appear, but if you look close enough, look at the word file and view, there's an underline under the letters. So if I hit the Alt key again, it turns it off and there's no underlines on any of these but if I hit alt again it underlines the letters so I know it would be F for file, V for view, B for backup so if I hit B for backup then we'll see that there's a list of options under that which also have letters underlined so we know that if we press that for example the I for image is underlined so if we hit I it would take us there the W for Windows is underlined here. So each one has a different letter underlined so you know that that's the one you would hit to get there. So not all programs will have the letters appear like it does in Word here. They may just have underlines appear like in this program. Other than some of the hidden commands like Control X for cut, Control C for copy, Control V for paste, got Control B for bold, Control U for underline, Control I for italics, and most of these will be listed on your keyboard as well, if depending on what type of keyboard you have. Other than many different hidden keyboard shortcuts that will work throughout Windows and various programs, at least you know now how to find some of these other shortcuts by just using the Alt key on the keyboard. And that's it for this tutorial, and if you did find it helpful, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.